Greetings from the IES Residential Education Center. My name is Jason, and today I will be discussing the minimum required circuits in a home or multifamily dwelling. In addition to the minimum general lighting circuits, the NEC also lists other required circuits in a home. If you're unfamiliar with or would like to review minimum general lighting circuits, I suggest watching our tutorial on this topic. The NEC states the required circuits of a home in Article 210.11C1 through 4. 210.11C1 lists the small appliance, which states that two or more 20 amp small appliance branch circuits for all wall and floor receptacles, island or countertop receptacle locations in kitchen, pantry, dining, breakfast, or similar areas. Uh, these two circuits must be in the kitchen and they are also allowed to serve the dining and breakfast areas. Um, it does also require per the 2020 NEC that these circuits are protected with arc fault circuit interruption and also ground fault circuit interruption. The next required circuit that is listed in 210.11C2 is your laundry circuit. And this states that at least one 20 amp branch circuit to supply the laundry area receptacle outlets shall be required. Also, the protection for this circuit is also arc fault circuit interruption and also GFCI circuit interruption protection. The next circuit that is listed as a required is your bathroom and that's Article 210.11C3, and this states that at least one 20 amp branch circuit to supply all bathroom receptacle outlets is required. Now, this bathroom circuit only requires GFCI protection, no arc fault required for the bathroom outlet circuit. Also, there is an exception in this bathroom article here 210.11c3 that states that if you are using a bathroom circuit and it does not leave that bathroom and only serves that bathroom you may also put switches and lighting on that circuit but that is the exception i invite you to read further into that the last required circuit for a home is your garage and that is found in article 210.11c4 and this states that at least one 20 amp branch circuit to supply receptacle outlets in all attached and detached garages with power so that being said if you have a detached garage that has no power to it at all you do are not required to run a 20 amp circuit to it However, once you decide to put any sort of power to that garage, the requirement is that it has to be at least one 20 amp branch circuit to supply that garage. The garage circuit also does require ground fault circuit interruption protection. At this time, I also want to state that the required protection that we've listed here is based on the 2020 NEC, and I would ask that you all please check with your local AHJ for whatever your local requirements may be because they may be different than these. Also, in most homes, all of these circuits do not equal the total of all the branch circuits that are installed. Heating and AC cooking and appliances and many other branch circuits that are requested by our customers also go in these homes. The circuits we have reviewed today are the 2020 NEC minimally, minimally required circuits in a home. I want to thank you for your time. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, please watch one of our other videos on practical and electrical theory. Don't forget to like and subscribe or drop us a comment. Thank you for your time.